Doing qualitative research with interviews in the social sciences is like assembling a complex puzzle, where each piece is crucial to see the overall picture. The key to finding all the pieces of the puzzle is asking the right questions. But some pieces are more challenging to find. So how do interviewers locate the hidden pieces? The key is in effective use of probing. Probing draws out in-depth answers from participants by asking them to expand on a previous answer in different ways. However, there hasn't been much guidance on how to effectively phrase and use probes until now. A recent article by Dr. Oliver Robinson presents a four-part theoretical framework and practical approach for effective probing in research interviews based on narrative theory, memory theory, self-disclosure theory, and attribution theory. There are four types of probes which can unlock detailed information from participants. Descriptive probes create a more colorful and complete picture by eliciting more information about events, people, thoughts, and feelings. Ideographic probes sharpen the picture by focusing on specific memories and examples to extract vivid details rather than generic memories. Clarifying probes help reveal hidden parts and meanings of the picture. They also unpack sensitive or concealed information. And finally, explanatory probes, which connect the final puzzle pieces together by probing for personal explanations of events or feelings to complete the picture. This is the DICE approach to probing, empowering qualitative researchers to use probes effectively and ethically within interviews to elicit detailed answers from participants and hence to uncover the whole picture.